morning. I'm uh, pleased to be here. Um, in fact, uh, my job is to try to push the uh, trade policies forward for Cambodia. This afternoon, I'm going to Geneva, and the next uh, week, I'm going to Geneva again. But uh, I'm for work and play, I usually do things uh, with uh, computers. And I'd like to tell you a story about, about me, why uh, I come to Cambodia. Well, I've been living in the U.S. for more than 20 years. I was lucky enough not to be in uh, the genocide uh, regimes. So I have a burning desire to come back to Cambodia because it's my home. So one morning, um, I, wrote, I wrote to Kofi Annan and said, oh, I really like to come here to Cambodia. Since the Kofi Annan was, uh, at, the t at that time, he was uh, in charge of the uh, peacekeeping operations worldwide. So uh, what I do was just maybe I, it uh, could be my chance to do that, to, to be in Cambodia. So I wrote to them, to him. The, uh, one night I just wrote it uh, without anybody's knowledge. I said, well, let's see what happened. I call it a uh, letter in a bottle. I just throw it in there. And uh, I wrote it to Kofi Annan, and uh, I don't know him personally, but I just wrote that. And registered mail and said, Kofi Annan, United Nations, <laughs> headquarters, New York, New York. <laughs> and telling him that, hey, you know, I, uh, I'm here available for you. You want to you wanna, you wanna take me uh, or not? <laughs> so sure enough, uh, in a good morning, you know, good days, I was working in the U.S. Somebody called me. Hello, are you a uh, Sorosak Pan? He said, yes, uh, what happened, you know? You want to go to Cambodia? I said, oh yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, it, just, uh, it was caught by surprise because it's been a while, I almost forget about it. And they say, let me ask my, of course I like to go to Cambodia. But in 1992, it's not a paradise for us, you know? You have to uh, ask the families, ask, ask uh, and arrange and ask my uh, employer to suspend my job too. So one thing, uh, one after another, I, uh, I, uh, in, in June, there was a phone call, as you know. But uh, in September, I decided to come. So I arrived to uh, Cambodia. And um, this is via New York, of course. And during that time, they uh, gave me uh, an assignment to do the, uh, to be the chief of electri uh, electronic data processing of because of my uh, background, my uh, my work. So I, I was in charge of the uh, activities for administration for the whole ONTAC, and also for the elections process, because we're going to set up the election, the first elect democratically elected government soon in 1994. So you can see me, I was young then. And, uh, but uh, now I feel intimidated with, with all the young people here coming out to the stage <laughs> because <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, uh, probably half their age now. Why I want to be uh, in Cambodia? My wish is to come here and help and want my people to be happy, to be healthy to be knowledgeable, to know about the world, and about and to be educated, like the previous uh, speakers talked about. Everybody has to be, has to be, uh, has to go to school, you know, and, and, and also at the same time prosperous. And how can we translate that into, in, into, the, uh, into the real things, you know? How do, we help, how do we help them to help themselves? Since I'm, I'm in the, the uh, technology business, perhaps maybe technology is, 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 it could be a tool. It could be a tool to, uh, to, to create 
rules and regulations, and at the same time, again, promote trade investments. So we'll, we'll see great tools. Previous speaker talked about computer literacies. But during that time, it's all English. As you all know that the computer was invented by Westerners. Computer was invented by Americans. So they're all in English. Everything's all set up as an English-centric you know, environment. We cannot, 99% of our population cannot speak, read, and write English. How can we use computer? How can they use computer to, do, uh, to, to access, to bridge um, you know, the word of digital divide? In 1992 or 94, during that time, uh, it was a pseudo, I call pseudo commerce scripts or fonts. There's a difference if you take a look in the dictionary, scripts and fonts are different. I'm not going to go again to that. It was, the, it was actually, s I call stolen from uh, Latin character. So we, you work, you have to really work with uh, left to right and so on. But this in, uh, create a lot of compatibilities. Well, it's a nightmare. You cannot do anything. You cannot share files, let alone you, can do, uh, you cannot do share files. You cannot send anything around because it's all gibberish when you're on the receiving end. Um, so we need to do something. We need to, uh, to, to, to create a standard. We need to work with Unicode consortiums. So I was lucky enough that I was assigned by the government, the royal government of Cambodia, to lead a team, a team to, uh, to set up uh, standardizations of computers standardizations of uh, command scripts in computers. Well, uh, I, I just want to give you a little bit about, about command, command script. The command sky script derived from, uh, from the Indian island in southeast, uh, southeast Indian uh, uh, 1400 years ago. You can see uh, it's, uh, it's Indian, uh, during that time we called Indian Pallava prototype. This is where Khmer is. And, and the rest of them uh, follows. As you see that Khmer, we have Khmer here, you have uh, Thai and Lao, which are the, which are the sun. The, uh, you can say that Khmer is the forefather of, our, the, of, forefather of the scripts of Lao and Thai uh, in that regard. This is from a research done a long time ago, but by a very well-known research. Now, you have, uh, you have, we have developed all of these scripts, scripts here. They're all in computers. They, these are uniquely identifiable 179 scripts that our team and myself work and put in the computers. You have, you, ha you can see that even uh, probably you're familiar with this. This is consonant vowels, vowels, consonants. And this is the, we call Sraping Tour. And it's the, uh, but here, you haven't seen this, but it, you can use it. This is called divinations. Uh, this is where our astrologer is using this, this kind of uh, characters. Now I can say that people at the Wat Dom can use this and can use iPad and, 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 and enter this because mostly they use uh, chalk and, and board. To, to give, uh, you know, to give, uh, to, 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 to give uh, good fortunes to you. <laughs> so they can use iPad too now. <laughs> S but the challenge to, to, to develop this is very, very difficult because uh, we took the challenge. Why? Because uh, this is for our country, but donors, they think that if you can achieve this, they can use this kind of technology to help other countries also to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to develop their own scripts because we are the most complex scripts in Southeast Asia. Let me show you. We have three layers of, of writings. Of course, uh, but with, uh, for some of you who knows to type, uh, it goes left to right, top, bottom. Uh, so you can, th uh, five, we have five layers, one, two up on the top, and uh, two here at the bottom, and plus the, uh, the main layer here. So we have five layers. As opposed to Latin, you have only three. 
So how we, we develop that? Well, it's a complex thing. You can talk to me later <laughs> if you want to. But uh, uh, so uh, the, the main thing is that we achieve it. In the uh, uh, year 2000, we work on language research uh, with the research institute in Japan, uh, uh, an entity that uh, help us uh, to, uh, to make sure that uh, everything's all in order. It's, it's available in Microsoft uh, Vista and 7, and uh, future versions also. Just, just go to Khmer and you can, you can check. There's a, it's available in the keyboard, you can type. And also, it's available in all applications also. It's not just Windows. You're talking about Google, you're talking about uh, Facebook, talking about Skype, everywhere. Because Unicode is, is the, uh, the standardized scripts for us for all the world, so that you can talk to each other freely without any uh, uh, inconvenience. The, f the fact that each now, each character of ours can be recognized, which is different from uh, other characters, from other foreign characters. And it's also available in uh, other platforms also, like I mentioned about iPad, you mentioned about uh, desktop, even on mobile phone, you know, in Nokia now you can use uh, Khmer, you can text Khmer. Samsung also was working on that, and the ne their next model will have this. So my work is done, it's their work, just to put that, to make sure that uh, the Khmer, uh, the, the Khmer uh, script is available for their models. Well, probably uh, this is, the model of the story uh, I'm going to talk about. The uh, accessibility to ICT for our local uh, Cambodian people, that's what I'm, I'm for. I'm not for just playing around. I want, I, want, I want to have all these poor people here can use computers, can use their own, can, can use their own computers, or can read Khmer, uh, can access and send emails, and so on and so forth. And this guy here was doing uh, Skyping and talking, this is e-communities uh, projects. You can see this is the, my boss. He's a minister of uh, mid, um, commerce, John Brissett. There's two lessons to be drawn. I would say that accessibility to, uh, for Khmer people, I will talk about that. And then uh, the uh, standardization is the key to globalization process. The, uh, Access to knowledge, as everyone knows, that it helps us, and especially for Cambodia, who are in, um, emerging economically and democratically, and it preserves also our heritage. People uh, would know that okay, there is Cambodian. You know, you use website, you can take a look. Cambodian, it's not Pol Pot written uh, regime anymore. Uh, promote healthcare. Our uh, old people or poor people can, can read Cam Cambodian and learn about high care, sanitation, hygiene, and, and education. E education is one thing. Protect environment. I don't have to say more. It's, you know, IT is, is the way to go uh, because this is information uh, revolutions. So uh, it helps you. It helps you uh, by, by all means, and especially by uh, it's up, the sky is the limit because you, you can invent, like the guys in Facebook, you know, then he invented it. So he can invent something that uh, is suitable, it's up uh, for, for the society as, as a whole. For government, people can get closer to the government because of the access to the information. And also the government can serve people better. And with, 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 transparencies, accountabilities, and this is what we need. This is what we need for, Cam uh, for Cambodia, for, for our, our people. We need to be in charge of our own destiny, not the, the other way around. That's, that's important for us. Information help us. Of course, you can see that work, uh, a lot of works here, I've done this, and uh, you might want to buy, we have my uh, spell checkers for a long time ago. If you, wa you don't have it, give, uh, ask me. I'll give it to you. 
It's, it's based on two not uh, dictionaries. And the uh, line breakers also, the line breakers also, uh, it's because Cambodian uh, was written without space. So the line breakers take a look at it and put space, put we call zero space, you wouldn't see it. So it allows you to, to, to wrap around and go to the next line without dropping uh, vowels or whatnot. It's, uh, it drops only uh, words. Web page translator, we, we did that because it's important because it's, it can translate automatically the, uh, the, web, uh, the English web page into Khmer, really. This research is going. What, what I'm, I'm really touch upon is, is to help the handicapped and the disadvantaged people to access. We are working on text-to-speech, speech-to-text, the OCR, Braille printers, etc. One of the morale of the standardization, we all have to standardize ourselves or standardize the society somehow. Uh, it creates you, uh, it, it puts you into uh, uh, some kind of, uh, anyway, um, what I'm trying to uh, deduct from that is this, the, uh, the uh, standardization, you have to standardize yourself if you want to live in a, 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 a decent society. Society has to have rules. So society have to have regulations. So society have to have laws. And and uh, and this this uh, allows you to be competitive in a global market. You know, I'm talking about standardizations of IPs. In the, uh, you know, you have to recognize IPs, international property rights. This one here, you don't copy them. So. Uh, you're talking about labelings. You're talking about all food safeties. You're talking about all kind of things. All that standardizations, because it's it's important for us to be part of the globalizations, and to be part of the well-beings of our society. The integration I'm talking about here, it's it's coming. ASEAN is our, oh, that's where we belong, the regional uh, uh, communities. In 2015, ASEAN will be integrated. We call ASEAN uh, economic communities. And this is it's a challenge for us because we have to be p capable to be competitive to other countries who are around us, who are very well uh, uh, established in, 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 in regards of, of laws and regulations. This is, we have to be, uh, keep track of it. Cambodian will be uh, chairing, uh, will hold the chairmanships next year uh, ASEAN Chairmanship in 2012. Um, uh, okay. Well, let, let me cap, uh, recap that. Localization, the inf information for us is localized. We need to localize uh, information. It's to enhance people communication. We can create people a uh, better un understanding, improve uh, commerce and create more suitable environment for outside and the, the world at large. The, the, one, another thing here that I'm, I'm adding is change of a mindset to be a law-abiding citizen. Because uh, right now, we need, we need that. We need to learn, we need to be educated to be a law-abiding citizen. Well, um, you know, the bridging the digital divide is coined by the former Prime Minister, the late former Prime Minister, Kenzo Abuchi. He said it's very important to bring peace and prosperity for our people. And uh, this concludes my, uh, my presentations, but I really uh, would like to appreciate the uh, organizer who allowed me to, to be here, although I feel out of place, being <laughs> see all the young people here, and uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, this, which I didn't have a chance to talk in my own environment in, uh, on trade. So uh, I'm really happy and uh, hope that to meet you again uh, soon. Thank you so much.